Hi everybody, my name is Jerry Fox. I'm Chief Technologist for Wind Energy at the Timken Company in Canton, Ohio. I'm standing here at the uh, AWEA show, the American Wind Energy Association Exhibition uh, 2011, and uh, Wind Power Engineering Magazine has asked me to say a couple of words to you uh, about our products and how we're serving the wind industry. I guess I'd like to start out by simply saying that this, in, this particular exhibition, probably in my, in my view, is one of the very best that I've witnessed, uh, simply because there's so many exhibitors here, it's very international in nature, and there's so many exhibitors here uh, exhibiting their wares and, and trying to uh, show the industry how uh, to improve their wind turbine technology. Uh, we have, I think this is an interesting year simply because of the fact that there's a couple of major agenda items here. One is the movement of the industry to more and more offshore and as the industry moves to more and more offshore the requirements for much larger much larger uh, wind turbines, fewer of them actually on the wind farm, being planted offshore in the middle of the ocean is probably driving the technology to a greater degree than anything else. I see blade technology, I see generator technology uh, taking the forefront of this development. But as all of these developments take place and we're trying to serve more and more companies, I would have to say that the Timken company, our company, and its products will serve the niche pretty well. What I'd like to do is show you a couple of those products and, show and demonstrate to you how they can work. Uh, behind me here is what we call our TNA bearing or a TDO bearing, sometimes it's referred to. This is a large diameter bearing. It's 1.87 meters in diameter. It weighs approximately 5,500 pounds. This bearing is designed for a two, me two megawatt system. It's a direct drive system, as a matter of fact, and it's manufactured from case carburized uh, raceways. It has uh, a steel cage and many enhanced features, including an integrated lubrication system and an integrated sealing system as well. Uh, many of our many of the people who are manufacturing offshore turbines, uh, direct drive turbines in particular are coming to Timken to uh, determine whether or not we can manufacture a bearing of this size and type for them in their advanced systems. So when we're talking about <coughs> large offshore machinery, I'm talking about three, four, five, and even 10 megawatt systems. So these are gigantic <coughs> tur wind turbines, and they require high performance bearings that are going to survive the 20 or 30 year life cycle of the turbine. Timken really specializes in two areas when it comes to serving the industry with uh, with its products, uh, steel and uh, and, and uh, bearings itself. We actually manufacture high performance alloy steel, and we also manufacture high performance bearings. I just finished talking to you about the main shaft positions. Another area of criticality in the wind turbine is actually the gearbox and how it's designed. For any gear manufacturer, this is a critical uh, conference simply because there's a big debate brewing right now whether direct drive gearless wind turbine design is preferred over a modular style geared solution with a gearbox. Uh, the gearbox industry has made significant advancements in its, in its attempt to improve the reliability of the wind turbine gearboxes. And one of the major, major efforts, uh, or I should say initiatives that they've taken, is to convert to different types of bearings, which happen to be Timken uh, tapered roller bearing solutions and tapered cylindrical roller bearing solutions. And behind you are an array of our products, starting from planet packs, to uh, tapered roller bearings for supporting planetary positions, to an array of bearings which are supporting the parallel shafting in the back of the gearbox. And perhaps one of the keynote issues here, or one of the, the highlights that I would like to talk about, is the engineered surface that's on the, on the out exterior of the, of the cylindrical roller bearing. This engineered surface is a, is a special uh, surface treatment that Timken applies to eliminate one of the primary failure modes in the gearbox itself, which is micro pitting and peeling. So with this technology, coupled with the other types of products that we offer here, we believe that the gearbox industry has a healthy future in the wind turbine industry.